I do thrive off of unpredictability and a certain level of controlled chaos. Everything that I do is based around the timing of what's happening in the ocean. One of the draws to the ocean for me has always been a personal challenge. Most of the things on land that we're surrounded by, it, there's a lot of rules and regulations. You can go out into the ocean and it's the last frontier, really. You can go wild and at the same time it'll humble you when you need to be humbled. living off of big wave surfing, but it, in a lot of ways, it's kind of a selfish pursuit. And you can basically push your envelope as far as you want to in the ocean. So much from the ocean. You have to give back. You have to try to balance the skills. I try to make an honest assessment of what my skill set is and apply it to where I think it can be helpful. I like the idea of being able to apply the tools that I've been able to acquire through experience to other things that are slightly more meaningful. I get to have this completely other aspect where I'm helping and working with marine biologists that are doing cutting edge research. Sharks here! Sharks here! I'm not saying I'm going and cracking the code as far as tagging and tracking of sharks, but I'm taking what I know I can be good at and what's going to fast forward the research for these marine biologists and also create some kind of awareness and a story behind these animals. Something that I'm passionate about. Growing up around the ocean on the north shore of Oahu, it's right there, it's, it's such a blessing to have. My entire life and schedule is based on the heartbeat of the ocean and nature. At this point in my life, it's a deeper relationship than it ever was. And I'm still learning something new every time. <laughs>